Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for being here this morning. I'm here today, of course, to announce USC's new Director of Athletics, Mike Bone. Mike's had an impressive career in athletics spanning more than 35 years. Uh, he's known for his integrity, his competitiveness, his passion, and for always placing students at the center of his work. Before I talk about his many accomplishments, though, I want to take a minute to say some thank yous to people responsible for bringing us here today. And I want to start by thanking the members of our wonderful advisory search committee, uh, and in particular mentioning Suzanne Nora Johnson, who was the chair of the committee. She just did a fabulous, fabulous job. And we had two wonderful student athletes who were on the committee, Anna Cockrell and Talano. Talanoa Wufunga, who is also in his active season right now, and they just did a fabulous job helping us understand what were the really big issues for our students and how could we make their experiences even more successful. I also want to acknowledge our board chair, Rick Caruso, who is on the committee and is here today and has been such a support for all of us in this process. And I want to give a big thanks to Dave Roberts, who has been serving as the interim. He's done a remarkable job. He started in that position uh, two months ago, and he has been a voice of steadiness and integrity. And he, too, thinks every day about putting our student athletes at the center and the importance of that to our university and to our Trojan teams. And then I also want to thank our athletic staff and our coaches and all of the people who support our students and, of course, our athletes and our fans. Uh, you make the entire experience wonderful, exciting. People care deeply about our Trojan family. And I thank you all for your support and look forward to you helping us as we go through this transition. It's very important. And I'm very excited for you to all get to know Mike, who is very excited to get to know all of you in the coming days and weeks as we all start working together on the next decade of the Trojan Athletic Program. I think that um, you're all going to find that he is very energetic, he's very accomplished, and he is someone who is very focused on our students and staying true to our entire university's mission and that's so important to me. He's also led athletics programs that are very competitive, have gone through changes, and been even more competitive as they progressed, and he demands at all times the highest level of integrity of himself, but of everyone who works for him. So I want to be clear, I've got four things that I expect for USC and that I am confident that Mike's going to deliver. Winning competitive teams in all of our sports. And they're going to be competing for national championships in all of our sports and doing it with integrity on and off the field and every day ensuring that the wellness and the success of our student athletes is at the heart of everything that we do. Mike began his career at the US Air Force Academy and he successfully led athletic departments in a number of different conferences. Um, most recently, University of Cincinnati. He's been at the University of Colorado, San Diego State, and the University of Idaho. He comes to us recently from Cincinnati, where he's had a lot of success, including rebuilding the football team, seeing his basketball team go to three consecutive seasons, I think, of 28 or more winning uh, games. And a number of other successes throughout the department. In addition, though, to that success on the field, Mike's always put the success of his student athletes off the field at the center of what he cares about. Mike and I are going to be working together a lot. We're going to be moving our athletics programs forward by pursuing that excellence with integrity and also ensuring that our student athletes are positioned for success not only here at USC, but wherever life will take them. And now I'm going to say, when you see Mike 
out and about, and you surely are going to see him many places. I want to make sure that you're going to reach out and say hi to him and welcome his wife, Kim, who is with us here today as they are out meeting the community and helping us meet the dreams that we have for our amazing programs. Now, before I turn the mic over to, the mic over to Mike, um, I'm going to say that tonight he and I are going to attend the women's volleyball team uh, match because I want him to see our players uh, doing what they do so well. But I also wanted to say, if any of you are there, we are really hoping that you'll stop by and introduce yourself and say hi and give him that wonderful Trojan family welcome. So fight on, and here's Mike. Good morning. Well, I tell you, walking onto campus today and getting a sense of uh, what makes USC special, you feel it the minute you walk on campus. And uh, I uh, want you to know with great humility and honor that uh, I've been selected to lead the preeminent college athletic program in the country. And uh, it, it's just so exciting to be here. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Dr. Fult, thank you for this opportunity. And uh, thank you for your leadership at USC. What you've been able to do in a very short amount of time is impressive. It inspires me. I want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of a team that recognizes that we want to win. And when you have a president that understands and appreciates intercollegiate athletics, you want to be a part of that. And uh, that's Dr. Fult. And so... Uh, Incredible impact that she's had already, and I salute that. And uh, that vision is is one that uh, is a formula that she outlined that's uh, very clear. She's been very clear about that and, and putting that together. Uh, she mentioned the Search Advisory Committee, Suzanne Nora Johnson, and uh, that group could not have been more open, could not have been more revealing, could not have been more succinct in challenges or opportunities. I don't want to say challenges, opportunities that exist here. And Suzanne and, and that committee to include those student athletes were phenomenal. And if uh, we have athletes like those two that were on that committee around this program, we certainly have a chance. Uh, I certainly want to thank my wife, Kim. Uh, we've been together since high school and she's been through this roller coaster of uh, 20 years of being an athletic director and my family and uh, I can't wait for my grandkids to get to meet some of these Trojans because they are a big part of reaching out and helping them with their experience and so forth and putting it together. But uh, I also want to recognize uh, board chair Rick Caruso, who's with us today. And uh, it's been a pleasure to get to know you and get to see your passion, not just for athletics and just not for winning, but all of USC. You're a blessing to this community, to this campus, uh, to our leadership team. I think that the way you've been able to build some alignment quickly as well is phenomenal. And, and Rick, I just want you to know that uh, I'm really looking forward to working with you. Uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't take a minute and thank the University of Cincinnati and their terrific president, Dr. Pinto. The coaches there, the student athletes there, the administrators, their donors, we did some really special things. And I want them to know that their accomplishments and their uh, spirit and uh, uh, again, all the wonderful things that they stand for are with me today. But now for USC, I will work tirelessly and relentlessly to make the Trojan family proud. And we're going to build a championship program that you deserve. I'm committed to preparing student athletes to be successful on and off the fields of competition, but also our coaches and all the people that touch our athletes to ensure they truly have a world-class experience. And if recruits are listening, that's what we're committed to. You heard the president talk about it. I know our board chair's committed to it. All the other people I've talked to, they recognize that it's about our student athletes and creating a world-class experience for them. So that will be something that from day one, that we will work extremely hard at ensuring that that is the case. Together, we will build comprehensive excellence all 21 teams. And I was touched to be able to walk in with Dave Roberts today uh, and, and see a picture of 21 athletes in the athletic director's suite that are proud and prominent. And you know what? 
Every one of those teams and all their colleagues and teammates, men, women, all deserve to be supportive. If they have USC on their uniform, they're going to receive support like maybe they've never seen before. And uh, I can't wait to have an opportunity to be with them and build on that again. You will learn quickly. I'm immensely passionate and energetic. My passion and energy never take a day off. And uh, I am proud of that. I enjoy that. It's been instilled at me uh, from a, a young man growing up, uh, the son of a PE teacher. I can't wait to meet our student athletes. I can't wait to see them compete tonight. I know they're playing a top 20 team, but uh, I'm expecting that the Trojans are going to come out and compete like Trojans need to compete. And again, it's going to take all of us putting that together. My intent is to listen, to learn, and to lead in that order. And ultimately, my goal is to deliver a bold, creative, and innovative vision for our program that will position USC at the forefront of the intercollegiate athletics landscape for the present and the future. We want to be the best at every single thing that we do. To our former student athletes, you have put a lot into this program. You have set us up for great, great things. We desperately need you to be involved with the program. You will hear from me. And again, I will be listening, learning, and preparing to lead based on your direction and your involvement. And finally, let me say this for the first time as your athletic director. Fight on to victory. Our goal, our goal is to win in everything we do, on the field, off the field, and in the classroom. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Holt. Yes, thank you. Okay, so raise your hand if there's any questions. Let's go to the room. Thank you. Coach, uh, uh, Coach, Mike, congratulations. I'm Jim Hill, CBS2 and KKL9. Congratulations and good luck here with the Trojans. Thank you very much. You, uh, you paused a couple of times, which indicated to me this was a very emotional day for you. How emotional a day is this for you and your family? And what's your top priority? We know about winning and educating, but what is the, the number one thing you want to do as fast as you can here? Well, thank you for that warm welcome. What a, what a nice question to start things off with. That, no, seriously, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a class move because it is about family and it is about connection whether it's all the different people that I've mentioned and some, I, I was disapp disappointed Suzanne couldn't be here and others. I am a passionate leader about connecting these student athletes. What we do is a big job. Those students are why we do what we do. And uh, it's important for us to ensure that we get off to a great start of engaging and connecting to the student athletes. So what we'll do first is just as I said, Listen, learn, but I want to connect and understand all the different pieces from the great players to the great donors, to the fans, to the students, to the staff. It's a team game. It is a team game. It is not one man or one person that can deliver a comprehensive program of excellence alone. And I think that's why from day one, I want to try and pull everybody together as best I can. And I think that's why the time that it took to pull all this together was tied to building that alignment. And Dr. Folt and people around her are experts at building team and building alignment. And so that's why that's the number one goal. And that's why we've taken time through this process to ensure we have the ability to do that. Thank you. Hi, Mike. Uh, Dylan Hernandez with the LA Times. Um, multi-part question here. Um, you know, I know you spoke about the importance of all 21 teams being competitive, but within the department, where do you, what do you see as the importance of the football program? Uh, two, what do you see as a kind of a reasonable expectation for that program? And three, uh, do you anticipate making a coaching change uh, at the end of the season or at some point in the next several months? Well, you had three parts to that. So obviously, uh, we all understand the, the importance of football. It's, it's, it's very similar to every institution that, that I've been a part of, from the Air Force Academy. Air Force football is king there. 
And I recognize, I, I don't want to use that word necessarily here because guess what? We expect all of our programs to compete. And that's one of the attractions of coming and working with Dr. Fulton and her vision is for us to be competitive across the board. But we recognize the importance of football and what we're doing. It'd be premature to be talking about coaches or any situation when I just arrived. I'm in the process of learning and trying to listen. But uh, again, I have a good sense of, of uh, really quickly being able to connect and, and, and find out how we're doing and where we're going. And I want to impact recruiting. And I recognize the importance. The name of Southern California in our institution's name says a lot. And Southern California is critical for us to ensure that we are viable in recruiting, we're viable in, in outreach, we're viable in attendance of, at our games, an intensity of interest that supports our program. And the bullseye in Southern California is LA. And so we're gonna work really hard to ensure that that's the case. And so we're gonna be fundamentally strong associated with that Southern California footprint. And then as we need to recruit for all of our sports, other aspects, but we want to do a great job in Southern California, knowing the bullseye is, is LA. Ryan Karchi, uh, LA Times. Uh, I know Dr. Polt mentioned integrity quite a bit, and she's mentioned that uh, in the past, just important in terms of importance for her hires. For you, what does integrity mean when it ter in terms of hiring coaches or leading a department, especially when you consider that this department has been through a lot in terms of scandal and turmoil just generally over the past 10 years? I think it always starts with playing by the rules, doing the right thing. Most importantly, supporting our student athletes. And when you're supporting your student athletes and you're doing things to help them be successful, then you know you're obviously uh, focused on the right things and pulling it together. So it's about supporting our student athletes, playing by the rules, doing the right things, making sure that, that we make our program proud. And I think that's why I've been so inspired watching Dr. Fultz's leadership and the people around her and the people that she's been able to bring here uh, quickly and pulling that together. We recognize the rallying point of intercollegiate athletics is critical. We understand the phenomenal research and incredible academic uh, reputation of USC and, and medicine. I could go on and on with the wonderful things the university stands for. We need to make sure we keep pace on the same trajectory of the institution and we make sure we stay on the same pace along with them and on integrity and never waver. Edward Ashoff, Edward Ashoff ESPN. That, you just said you, didn't, you, you just got here, obviously. You don't have a lot of time to evaluate a lot, but when it does come to Clay Helton, what are your expectations for him through the rest of the season and going forward? Well, just like any program uh, this time of year, we expect him to finish strong. I mentioned fight on and uh, the sense of being able to do that, but uh, it's also fight on to victory. It's important to win. You heard the president talking about winning, and uh, I'm not trying to add more pressure to him or, or the student athletes that represent him, but we always want to finish strong. Good programs, finish strong. So the, the idea is we want, to, we want to see him and his team finish strong, and I'm going to do everything I can to support those young men and those coaches and everybody tied to the program to do exactly that. I have not had an opportunity to meet Coach. I have uh, talked to a lot of people about Coach, but uh, I'm anxious to meet him. I'm, I'm anxious to meet him. Sam Martzlany in Annenberg Media. Um, thank you for taking the time to be here and congratulations. Um, you're the first AD at this university in a long time to not be a part of the Trojan family. Um, so first question, how does that feel? And second question, do you think that gives you any advantages coming in you know, from the outside? Well, thank you for asking that because uh, I've thought a lot about that. And I believe I bring in a new perspective. Uh, maybe something just a little bit different, but I wanna make sure you understand and I under uh, want Trojans everywhere to understand. I have tremendous respect for the tr traditions, the history, the success, and what USC Athletics stands for. The number of Olympics, I could go on with all the statistics that you know about them and recognize that that's the standard. And as a competitor, that's why I want to be here. Dr. Fult is an ultimate competitor, not just athletics, the entire campus. Her expectations of everywhere else on campus is the same as it is for athletics, but it's about bringing a new, fresh perspective and maybe something else that has an opportunity to put it together. I didn't attend the Air Force Academy. I uh, 
didn't uh, attend any of the other institutions that I worked at, but I think that's actually a little bit of an advantage. And the reason why I believe it's an advantage is because the people that Dr. Fult and uh, uh, Rick Caruso and others and, and Suzanne and our, our faculty athletic rep, Dave Roberts, all those people talk about a committed family that comes together. You, you like to talk about the Trojan family here, right? Well, it's real. I feel it. And uh, I think the first question when you talk a little bit about emotion and connection, I feel that. And so bringing a fresh perspective to that environment, I believe, is very, very powerful. Hi, congratulations, first of all. Um, I'm Faith Bonds from Annenberg Media. And kind of going on that Trojan family idea, that's very important to students here, student athletes, coaches, everyone all the way to the top. So coming from the outside, how do you plan to immerse yourself in that Trojan spirit? I think it's real easy. I think you need to be genuine. I think you need to be engaged. And uh, it was powerful walking in the building today for the first time and, and the first person I met was a student athlete and he had a gleam like you've never seen the gleam of a winner and he's been injured but the gleam of a winner an incredible smile positive upbeat so I think it's about engagement I think it's about listening and ensuring that they know that I'm supportive and that we're with them that this is going to be a student athlete centric administration and all the things that, that we do and uh Obviously, it all starts again with our student athletes. Ryan Young, Trojansports.com. You arrive at a very pivotal time for the football program. Whatever you decide to do there, what's the feeling that that decision could really shape your entire tenure? And how much did that thought weigh on you as you were considering this was the right move for you to make at this time? Well, I think that uh, all coaching hires are important. But uh, I recognize the, the gravity of that. But you know what? The team around the athletic director, I've mentioned them numerous times, and that alignment is what will pull us all together. And that alignment and that ability to work together is, is a magic formula, and it's powerful. And uh, Dr. Folt and uh, her team of experts and tough leaders will be a, a huge partner in that. And uh, I was looking for a partner. I could just come from an institution where I'm partners with the, with the president. And she wants a partner, I want a partner, the board chair wants a partner, we're gonna be a team. We're gonna be a team. You've learned through your different stops, you were at Colorado for a while, a little Pac-12 experience. What have you learned since then as an AD? Well, I've learned a lot. I've learned a whole lot. I've had some failures, I've had some phenomenal successes, but uh, uh, again, I know that the formula of trying to be everything to everybody is a formula for failure. And uh, I think it's important to go on and take, uh, take things on and lead. And uh, I'm really proud of uh, the people that have been in my life and been in my career to set me up for this. And I'm really excited about my new teammates that have the ability to help me uh, be successful. So I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Adam Grossbard, Orange County Register. Uh, this one's for Dr. Folt, actually. Uh, Great, how thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank Starting you, to feel bad up here. <laughs> Was it important to you to bring someone in with an outside perspective for this job? You know, I'm, I was really looking for the best person for the job, quite frankly. It meant a lot to me that they have great experience as an athletic director. I love the diversity and breadth of experience. So that does lead usually to someone that comes from outside because they've been to a lot of places. And if they're a lifelong learner like Mike, they really do bring those successes and those mistakes into a new way of thinking. So that was phenomenal for me. But that it was really to find the right person, but someone that had that kind of breadth and depth and then could really agree on what the big issues were. Thanks. Uh, Brady McCullough with the Los Angeles Times. Uh, Mike, I'm curious how much you've been following the uh, Senate Bill 206 and the name, name, image, and likeness issue. I know it's something that college administrators have been talking about for a while now. Now it's actually you know, in the works legislatively. Um, here in the here in the state, uh, you talk a lot about student athlete welfare and supporting them. 
what, where do you think this NIL stuff fits in and how have, how did you factor that in to accepting this job and possibly having to, to work around that, that legislation? Well, first of all, I salute uh, California for spearheading that initiative. And it's caught on in a lot of different parts of the country to include Ohio. And uh, I'm an advocate for student athletes. I thought one of the best things the NCAA did recently was add the cost of attendance uh, disbursement to student athletes to help them financially through their, their challenges. I believe this is the next phase of that. I don't believe that uh, you've seen a final product yet, but I have a lot of confidence in my colleagues at the NCAA and uh, the Pac-12 conference at USC to be able to advance that. Again, if we can do things to support student athletes and set them up for success and help them build their brand and go on and take their USC experience and uh, become the phenomenal leaders that we're accustomed to our alumni from USC to do, I think that's a wonderful thing.